I would have never thought that in less than three years we would have a state-of-the-art coral lab here in one of our resorts in the Dominican Republic. It's a tourism as a private sector collaboration with public institutions, with governments, to be an ally for the environment, for the oceans, for coral reef. Coral reefs are some of the most incredible ecosystems. They cover a very small portion of the planet, but they hold a disproportionate amount of biodiversity of the oceans. Many reefs face multiple stressors that they all have to survive at the same time. Even if all of society gets climate change under control, we're still expecting to lose 90% of reefs. So you also have to have restoration as part of the solution. I've always been a really big believer that the private sector has solutions that are really untapped for conservation sciences. Iberostar has about 120 hotels around the world. And in the Caribbean, 80% of those hotels have reef right in front of them. In one year, we actually built a state-of-the-art coral lab facility within a resort that had tanks where we were actually able to recreate temperature profiles that cycled and looked like severe warming events. And when we're able to create stressful environments, we're actually able to unveil diversity that we're not otherwise able to see. And so this is where an industry that has direct benefits from reefs themselves can help us to potentially provide the scientific community with solutions to figure out how to do reef restoration at scale. We can do coral reef restoration here, and wherever we feel that coral reefs need it the most and are close to our operations, there will be a fit. And that's the level of expansion that we're looking for with our movement. We think that it is the right way to go because we don't take care of coral reefs. There's a lot of impact that it can have as well for our hotels as assets. Uh, storms, hurricanes can have a larger kinetic impact on the properties. My ideal vision as a business would be that 100% of our clients choose us because of all these efforts that we're doing. So I think the big key for success for reef restoration will just be figuring out the economy of scale. And the economy of scale needs for us to have more efficient ways to be able to keep track of the potential winners and losers of coral bleaching events that end up wiping out entire reefs. And it sounds kind of silly because this is just basically saying our dream in the future is proper bookkeeping. <laughs> but it actually is exactly what we would need to maintain this genetic diversity. I spent a decade studying climate change and studying marine biology. and. When you spend that long in the field, sometimes it can feel like, oh my god, how can society ever really make steps forward? In the three years that I've been with Iberistar, the amount of progress that we've been able to make in scaling solutions for marine conservation has given me the most hope that I've actually seen in all of the years that I've been doing this sort of work. It's something that, that helps us to uh, get that motivation and drive to realize this is why it is that we're doing what we're doing.